Okay, so today we are going to start with uh, exercise 13.4 uh, of surface area volume chapter 13 and I'll be drawing uh, only around five questions and those five questions are the first question all of these questions then the second question then the third question and the fourth question and then we'll scroll down and finally to the eighth question <clears throat> okay so once again i uh, advise you that i have taken this i have referred these uh, questions from ncrt cbse class 9 maths textbook and uh, i have i have referred these uh, questions from these uh, this uh, textbook and for uh, accurate precision it is blue in color so you'll be able to identify it more correctly more uh, accurately so let's start okay so our first question says so find the surface area of a sphere of radius 10.5 centimeters now if you have memorized your formulas thoroughly so you'll find no difficulty in solving these sums so surface area of a sphere of radius 10.5 centimeters so surface area of a sphere is equal to four pi r square So whatever value you get, say for example, you only have to find the value of R in this question. So R is already given to you and uh, pi is equal to 22 by seven. Assume pi is equal to 22 by seven. Okay, in some questions they tell you that assume pi is 3.14. Say for example, in this question, they have said that assume pi is equal to 3.14 in this question, third question. But right now we're doing first question, so pi is assumed as 22 by seven. Okay, so let's solve the question. As I said in my previous videos, that always draw a figure. So once I've drawn a figure. Okay, so once you have drawn. Okay, so once we have drawn our figure. So usually I draw this uh, window, this kind of window in spheres because I want to differentiate between a circle and a sphere. So you can also prefer that or you could simply draw a circle. So teacher, your teacher will also understand it's a sphere. So our surface area of a sphere, as I've said previously, is equal to 4 pi r square. And the questions will only give the radius because in this, this is known as a radius. And in our first question, first questions, first question, it has told us that the 10.5 centimeters is our radius. So it gives only radius because in this formula we only have to find the radius because the pi is given to us by the question itself, the exercise itself. So we all we do have to do is just substitute the value simply. So 4 into 22 by 7 into r square. r square can be written as 10.5 whole square or 10.5 into 10.5. So 7 1 to 7 and 7 1.5s are 10.5 so once we calculate this the final answer that we get is equal to 1386 centimeter square okay now in each and every one of those uh, exercises and videos that is all why i always use a calculator why i use a calculator so that there's no wastage of time and i can do my questions fast i would advise you to do the same so that there's no wastage of time but in your exams you can do it orally or you can uh, write in your rough column and solve it so 1386 centimeter square is our final answer we'll move on to the next question so our next question states that find the surface area of a sphere of radius 5.6 centimeters okay so it's a simple question there's no need to be afraid so i'll clear all of this so first question second question and we'll draw a figure first and then finally I'll draw a kind of a window so that there's a difference between the sphere and the circle and we'll draw the radius which is 5.6 centimeters so finally surface area so SA of a circle of a sphere pardon of a sphere 
is 4 pi r square so even though if the most important thing is draw the figure the second most important thing is always write the formula always write the formula even if you have to write it 10 times 20 times always write the formula never skip the formula so if we substitute the values we will get 4 into 22 by 7 into r square we can write it as 5.6 whole square or 5.6 into 5.6 so i'll prefer the other way the latter and 7 ones are 7 and uh, 7 uh, 0 0.8 or 5.6 so by using a calculator i get the final answer as 394.2 centimeter square So once we have calculated our answer, all I wanted to tell you viewers is that always write the units. So if we have, in the previous videos I have said it uh, many times that always write the formula, always write the area, the unit of the area which is centimeter square. So our third part, the final part of our first question is find the surface area of a sphere of radius 14 centimeters now in many questions it can be centimeters here it can be centimeters here it can be meters here it can be meters here it can be centimeters but in this question there are no units of meters so it's only centimeters so answer should be only be in centimeters so I'll drop this and then we will write the formula we will write the we'll substitute the values for the radius 14 centimeters so 14 square 14 into 14 so 7 on the 7 7 to the 14 and then finally the final answer will be 2464 centimeters 2600 2400 pardon 64 centimeter square always write the areas units and we move on to the next question which is the second question okay so find the surface area of a sphere of diameter 14 centimeters now when in the previous question we have done radius but in this question it is specifically mentioning diameter so 2r is equal to d that means 2 into radius is equal to diameter because if we draw a rough representation of a circle this is known as diameter and if we and this line is known as radius so 2 into radius will make a whole diameter so that's why this formula came into existence okay so so when we calculate uh, 14 centimeter so the diameter is 14 centimeter and we have to calculate the radius so then we'll clear this drawing and then okay so once i have drawn the most important uh, i once i have drawn the figure of a sphere so we'll calculate the radius so it has given us that the diameter meter is 14 centimeters but we have to find the radius because all the questions in surface area volume are based on radius not in diameter so 2r is equal to d is equal to 2 into r we don't know r's value but we do know uh, d's value which is 14 so r is equal to 7 centimeters if the units are written then everything's fine for you so finally if you have remember remember the surface area of a cube uh, if you have remembered the surface area of a sphere which is 4 pi r square so there's no need for any difficulty all we have to do is just substitute the values simply so r square so 7 into 7 7 the 7 7 the 7 and then finally 88 into 7 so 88 into 7 is equal to 616 centimeter square Once you have you written the unit, everything is fine. Your calculation is done. If it was meters, it would have been 616 meters square. But in this case, it is centimeters. So it is 616 centimeters square. Okay, onwards to our next question. So, 
Find the surface area of a sphere of diameter 21 centimeters. So diameter into radius. Because in many questions diameter in surface area volume questions diameter is not taken into consideration. Only radius is taken. So 21 centimeter into radius we will do it just now. I will clear this drawing and second part second question second part second question so first we'll draw a figure and then we'll draw our little window and then finally we'll enter our formula now so matter so now every time you solve any surface area volume question always draw the figure and then finally write the formula so the surface area of a cube a sphere pardon is equal to 4 pi r square always write the formula if even if you're annoyed by writing formulas always write the formula because it will help you in the future when you forget formulas when you're near forgetting formulas these tips and tricks will always help you pass through exams so surface area is equal to 4 pi r square so all we have to do is substitute our value simply so 22 into 7 22 divided by 7 into 4 so 4 pi r square can also be written as pi 4 r square so by mistake I have done 22 by 7 into 4 but that is also okay r square so r square so all we have to do is we have to I forgot to calculate the radius so when we calculate the radius by the formula 2rd we get r is equal to 21 divided by 2 21 divided by 2 is 10.5 centimeters so it will be 10.5 into 10.5 so our final answer would be 7 1.5 is or 10.5 and 22 into 4 into 1.5 into 10.5 will finally be 1386 centimeter square add the unit don't forget to add the unit so then finally we we'll move on to our next question so find the surface area of a sphere of diameter 3.5 meters so never ever make this mistake of going ahead with the diameter this number is the diameter this number is the diameter this number is the diameter these are diameters not radiuses you have to convert them into radiuses only then you can advance towards the ahead calculations so here only I'll try to convert diameter into radius by the formula 2r is equal to d so into r is equal to d which is 3.5 and r is equal to 3.5 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.75 centimeters then when we have calculated our radius we'll go ahead and solve our final part of the second question So we'll first draw a figure, then we'll write our question number, we'll draw a little window, it's like Alice in Wonderland living in a sphere. And finally surface area 4 pi r square, do not be annoyed to write the formula every time, please write it, it's for your own sake. So we'll substitute our values, so 4 into 22 by 7 into 1.75 into 1.75 we'll solve it further so 7 to the 14 and point and 5 so 4 into 22 into 0.25 into point into 1.75 is so our final answer is 38.5 centimeter square I forgot to add the centimeter I got I forgot to add the square if only if you commit this stupid mistake this silly, silly mistake so because of the silly mistake half your half of your marks will be gone because you have not written the correct unit 
so a note to the viewers that whatever calculations that our author has given here will always be easy div easily divisible by 22 by 7 so it will never go into decimal it can go into de decimal but it will always introduce so every calculation and every kind of uh, question so every calculation will always be divisible by 22 by 7 so enough of the gyan so our next question states so our next question states that find the total surface area of a hemisphere of radius 10 cm use pi is equal to 3.14 so earlier also I have said that pi in certain questions pi can be so our next question states that find the total surface area of a hemisphere of radius 10 centimeters so use pi is equal to 3.14 so in this question it is assumed that pi is equal to 3.14 earlier in the question it has assumed that pi is equal to 22 by 7 but here it is 3.14 okay so enough of the delay we'll solve this question so we'll clear all and our third question is we'll first draw the, our figure and then our window our little Alice in Wonderland window and then if you have remembered your surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r square always write the formula and we'll substitute the values 4 into 22 by 7 so in this question it has not mentioned diameter so there's no you know there's no need for converting diameter into radius and in this question there's only one unit that is centimeter square centimeter pardon so there's no uh, need for conversion of meter to a centimeters also so we'll go on so our r square is 10 into 10 now in this question earlier I had said that whatever calculations and questions are there they will usually be divisible by 22 by 7 especially 7 but in this case it is not divisible by 7 so no need we'll take a calculator and we'll get the answer as okay so now in this question due to my uh, due to I was in a hurry so I have misplaced my formula as 4 pi r square but it is asking that find the total surface area of a hemisphere so that is why people get zero in their surface area volume questions that is why they get most frustrated because they don't analyze a question and they go in a hurry and I had paid the price so our total surface area TSA of a hemisphere write the statement the complete statement is equal to 3 pi r square okay now all we have to do is just substitute the values 3 into 22 by si uh, now in this question it has specifically mentioned that pi is equal to 3.14 so we'll use 3.14 instead of 22 by 7 so 314 divided by 100 because that's easier divided by 10 whole square so this and this is gone and 314 into 3 is 942 centimeter square don't forget to add the units and our calculation is done for the third question we'll move on to our second last question that is a fourth sum so the radius fourth question the radius of a spherical balloon so a balloon somewhat looks like this with a little string in the top and there's a little it somewhat looks like this even though it is I don't know looks like something else looks like an alien the radius of a spherical balloon increases from 7 centimeters to 14 centimeters as being pumped so whenever you see a balloon you don't see it as a hole like this usually you see it as a punctured object you'll see it like this now once they enter the pump so it will convert from this this state of art to this balloon and while it was so we'll read our question first and then we'll move on to our graphics 
so the radius of a spherical balloon increases from 7 cm to 14 cm so whenever you see a balloon it might be like this then you insert some air it might be like this and then finally you insert some more air and it will be this so this has a greater uh, radius than this so we'll assume the greater radius to be capital R and the smaller radius as cursive R okay now while uh, so it has specifically mentioned that the radius of a spherical balloon increases from 7 centimeters to 14 centimeters look at all the units in this question are they the same so no they are same so there's no need for conversion to take place as air is being pumped into it find the ratio of surface areas of the balloon in the two cases now first sit back and look at the question and tell and analyze what shape it is telling you so previously in my previous question i had mistaken the hemisphere as a sphere and due to that i paid the price so in this question i will stop myself for a bit i'll look at the question and i am completely sure that it is specifically mentioning that it is a spherical balloon so let's solve and i'll clear this we'll write our fourth question okay and then we'll draw our sphere with a little alice in wonderland window and we'll the surface area write the formula first surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square great now in this question many people what they do most commonly is then they uh, so say for example this is a fully there is no need for air to be filled in this balloon because if you insert more air in this balloon it will explode so first there was another balloon there was a same balloon that was that had little air in this that had little air in it and we draw a little window as more air was pumped into it it became a complete sphere which is this so most people what they do is that 